Uh, New England Patriots. I'm going to give them an A plus, dude. Rookie quarterback. Oh, you're on fucking drugs. How do you get that? Look, A plus. You can't get clapped up in that game. You got to give him an A, bro. <laughs> you can't get clapped Fine. up by the Bills. I'll give him much. an A. I mean, can you blame him? I mean, they, <laughs> they beat him without throwing the ball. That is tough. That is tough. <laughs> give him an A. Uh, okay, I'll give him an A. I'm giving him a B. Really? Let me hear. Yeah. What would you say? Let, let me hear. Let me hear. Yeah, they had a rookie quarterback, and they don't have the most talented roster. So I thought they had a good year, but the way they lost in the playoff game was like, man, maybe they just kind of feasted on the week a little bit, and that's what kind of left 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 a bad taste in my mouth. There's a lot of improvement to be made. Bill Belichick's still in his bag. Mac Jones looks good, but maybe a little overrated. Like I know he made a Pro Bowl. That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean shit. But just yeah. in the aspect of making big throws, because I feel like the training wheels were on him for a long part of the season. And one, their offense isn't really built to get explosive plays. Uh, I think that was huge for them last year. I mean, they had a guy in Nelson Aguilar where he's a speed demon, essentially. Didn't have the I mean, Raider year. I'll say yeah, that. <laughs> Didn't yeah. have the Raider year. And I, I just think Mac Jones is just not at a at a level where he can throw the ball deep yet. Like, I, I just, he's still growing. And to me, I think they played with house money, making it to the playoffs. They potentially almost won. The, they had a chance at the division, the way that they were playing the Bills. Uh, the, the thing that scares me going forward with this team is honestly losing Josh McDaniels. Besides Bill Belichick, that's been one of the most stable, like, positions in their organization. It's been Bill Belichick. And Josh McDaniels, who's been the offensive coordinator calling the plays for every single winning Super Bowl team? It's been Josh fucking McDaniels. So that's alarming, dude. I don't know if this stops the growth of Mac Jones. I don't know if their offense takes a step way back. We'll see. Bill Belichick always winds up finding guys. Once upon a time, he had Eric Mangini and all those other guys. But we'll see. What's your thoughts on that, Max? I agree with you on it's a little concerning when a coach of 15 plus years leaves. I know he left for what a year in Denver, two yeah. years in Denver, but he's been there for a long ass time. He's one of the best offensive minds in football. They've been offering him jobs left and right, and he stayed. Yeah. So I'm a little curious to see what it's going to look like. And one, they have a lot of guys who could leave. They got McCordy, JC Jackson, Dante Hightower, who's been one of your favorite players for the last <laughs> 10 years. Yeah. And I think this team needs star power, a wide receiver, and they need speed on defense because Josh Allen destroyed them. It looked like Josh Allen was playing against a college team. And the yeah. way to add speed to defense, you get a guy like Wansu from the Chargers, and this would be my key guy. I would love if they got Justin Reed. I feel like he could be a McCordy light. I'm going to steal this from you because I see it in your notes, the doc that you sent me. Calais Campbell, I love that, Max. I love that. I thought Bill Belichick could have some fun with Calais Campbell. Yeah, I think that's a perfect destination for him to finish off his career. I think he still has a little bit more in the tank left, but we'll see, man. They got $8.3 million. To me, number one priority, you got to sign J.C. Jackson. You cannot let that shutdown corner leave your building. I know Bill Belichick's like the factory of cornerbacks where he just winds up finding these dudes left and right. I just think J.C. Jackson is very special, and you cannot lose him. Priority number one, dude. I agree, 100%.